iDrive is one of those cloud backup services not betting on the unlimited trend of like the other cloud services like CrashPlan, Backblaze, Carbonide, Acronis, and whatnot. Instead, they have generous limited storage plans, but allow users to connect an unlimited amount of machines. And that's a trade-off you need to think about before signing up for any one service. But let's find out in this review if iDrive is actually worth a try or not. So before we go any further and really dive into the nitty-gritty, there's currently a ridiculous promo offer that will give you 75% off your first year of cloud backup with iDrive. So if after watching this review, this service sounds interesting to you, make sure to check the link out in the description box below or click right here. That will bring you directly to a sign-up form where um, you can get this 75% off promo for, um, for iDrive. Now, in the last couple of years, I have tested iDrive a few times. And each time I test the service, I'm essentially more impressed by the wealth of features and the thoughtful ex execution. And geeks like me will enjoy the creation of individual backup sets, managing sub-accounts, and um, generating backup reports, for example. iDrive comes with a few more restrictions than CrashPlan or Backblaze. For one, it's not an unlimited service provider. And with uh, one terabyte or 10 terabytes, they do offer a lot of space, um, but the 10 terabyte can get costly, especially when you compare it to Backblaze, where you essentially get unlimited cloud backup for only $5 per month. On the flip side, iDrive allows users to sync and share files from their backup stacks, which essentially um, gets rid of other third-party solutions such as Dropbox or other syncing services. Because iDrive is not an unlimited provider, you can use it as a true archiving solution because iDrive will not delete files from their servers if iDrive or the software doesn't find a local copy on your computer. And most cloud backup services work in a way that if you don't have a local copy on your machine, after a certain period of time, they will delete it from their servers. You can thus use it as a true online storage service if you like. File versioning has become a standard feature of many cloud backup services. And iDrive retains the latest 10 versions of any file on your computer. So you can essentially rewind the clock if you accidentally save the wrong version of a file. Other services um, such as Backblaze or CrashPlan, they have a little more generous policy giving you 30 days or 30 file versions or even unlimited versions. But actually, I've never used more than 10 versions, so I'm very fine with that limit iDrive is a solid all-in-one solution for those looking for a cloud backup solution that also does file synchronization and file sharing in a secure manner. Whether or not it's really good enough to be a Dropbox replacement really depends on your requirements. It's certainly not made for heavy syncing needs uh, in a business environment. Backups and restores went along without any trouble, though they were not the fastest in our tests. If you don't fear settings menus and essentially like the idea of being able to customize your backups in a very granular way, I really would go for, for iDrive. It's, uh, it's certainly worth it. But now that we've mentioned a little bit of the pros of that service, let's see what else we got on the sort of negative side of things. First, there is no unlimited plan, but you can go for the 10 terabyte plan, which actually should be plenty for most users. There are also a lot of features that may confuse people as it's not very hands-off and many of the functions are really uh, deeply uh, buried in the custom in the settings menu. The mobile app is pretty basic too. It only supports native preview files of essentially JPEG files and Mac users will have to live with a few restrictions as well. iDrive does offer continuous data backups, but files need to be smaller than 500 megabytes for this feature to work. Larger files will be backed up, however, but on a fixed schedule, for example, once per day, but not immediately after, for example, you've saved uh, a larger file. Now, let's talk a little bit about backup speed as this is something we get 
hundreds of emails about and comments here on YouTube, comments on, on cloudwoods.net. And I'm sure this is something you guys also worry about. The time it takes to upload your files to any cloud service provider depends mostly on two things. It depends on your computer configuration. So how fast is your RAM? How fast is your CPU? How fast is the overall computer? And also, it depends on your upload speed. So if you're behind a slow megabit per second, uh, two megabit per second connection, it will take ages for a terabyte to upload. However, iDrive offers its users a speed pass, so to speak, because they ship a hard drive to your door that you can load with all your data and then send it back to them. This seeding uh, will speed up, obviously, the, the initial backup significantly because subsequent backups are generally fast because there are algorithms in place that take um, basically the uploading uh, only of the changed portions of the file uh, take care of that, and that's going to be a lot faster. The personal plan allows one free seeding request per year for up to three terabytes of data, and the business version allows for up to three times per year for free. Overall, I believe iDrive is a service I can fully recommend because of their wealth of features, and they've been in the game for a very long time. They have a lot of experience, and especially if you're a computer user with multiple machines, NASs, um, external hard drive, this provider is a really good choice. Now, this video review can only touch the surface of iDrive. If you're looking for a more in-depth review, please check out our written version on cloudwords.net that you can access right here or in the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe and watch the other cloud backup videos in this playlist so that you can really find the best solution for your needs. I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for watching my videos. As I've already mentioned, this is a video series of 11 of the best cloud backup services. If you think this provider is something for you, you can sign up for a free trial by clicking the button right here. If you still couldn't decide, make sure to watch my other videos from the playlist and you can access them by clicking on the logos here on this screen or you can check out the links in the description box below. Thank you very much for watching and remember to subscribe.